What's up YouTube? So I just got my wheel weights in and I'm going to be putting the hair donuts in because the stock foams are just too soft in my opinion. So I was going to make a quick video on how to do it because these things are kind of a bear because they're so puffy. So if you bear with me here, I am going to take the stock foams out of these Voodoo Kalar knockoffs with the eBay rims that I painted gold in the center and mount up the hair donut and the wheel weights over here. So I will be pausing and whatnot as we go so that it doesn't make the video run over too far because I know no one likes a long DIY. So first pause. Alright, so I'm back now that I've got some of the prep work done so that this doesn't take so long. Let's go ahead and get these out. Trash. And there you can kind of see a little here. Donuts, these are cheap, like only a couple bucks on Amazon. You can find them on eBay too for a relatively good price. Hold on. There we go, got the trash out of the way. This is also a handy little do on Amazon. It's a nice little screwdriver set that I picked up for, I don't know, not too much money. And it has pretty much everything for hobbies. And the bits seem actually pretty good quality and you get a nice little spinner on the back so you can put some force down on it. I like to break all my stuff loose. I've already taken quite a few of these out but once I get them loose I just basically zap them out with the old Dewalt because who has time for all that screwing? <laughs> anyway, moving on here break down this tire real quick loosen these up and I'm just loosening them by hand so that I don't just zap them out with the Dremel and I'll zap them in with the Dremel but when I get down to the last little bit I will actually hand tighten because you don't want to strip these out so, nope. I don't know if I didn't get that one. There it goes. All right, last one. It's gonna have a little pressure to it. All right, pop the inside ring out. Outside ring out inside ring and look at this oh wow these foams have already gotten really soft so already you can just see this is what comes in the knockoff voodoos and they're just like this is firm but it's pliable and malleable and when we stretch that over the wheel it's going to give us a nice firm but malleable surface whereas this is just it's already smashing down and the tire just wrinkles and folds over on itself. I mean, it is what it is. It's a cheapo foam for, you know, knockoff tires. And then here's the tire. I mean, they are super soft. And then I'll turn it inside out here real quick so you can get a look at it. So that is the inside of that. And these are the 2.2s. I know they make the 1.9, but very nice tire for the money they're like 30 bucks for a set of four i mean those foams are junk but these hair donuts are only a couple bucks so in my opinion i'm gonna run them for a while see what i think i'll give a review later but right now i'm digging them and i'm also going to be running these wheel weights i've already got the knuckle weights on the end of the axles so there's already quite a bit of weight there plus we all know gen 7 and gen 8s are fairly heavy rigs so I'm going to go ahead and pause at this time. Well, actually, no, I won't pause. So you take your hair donut 
and you stuff it up in here kind of work it around a little bit and then you take your inner and you get that in there and then what I found works the best with this because this thing will basically blow out of every witch orifice is once you kind of get it set and the bead more or less lined up um, sometimes I use dish soap but for this side I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there and then you're working with that and then basically I just keep that forced in there and poke 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 and force this all the way around because it wants to kind of bleed over into the inside of the rim which is not what you want so it takes some work I'm not gonna lie but the aftermath the finished product basically is way better than those stock foams which those are easy to mount but they are trash in my opinion they get super super soft i only ran that thing for maybe an hour or they maybe have an hour's worth of runtime on them and they're already breaking down and just getting super spongy and soft anyway i've got a lot of kind of just working around here to get that forced over that inside ring so that when i put this in so i'm going to go ahead and pause it this time work that in and then I'll I'll cut to when I'm putting this in it just it takes time and there's no need to just set here all right so I've got it kind of seated I've got all that foam out of the way and so what I'm gonna do is get my fingers up under it here make sure that my holes are lined up because that's half the battle and then I cheat I use these clamps I actually bought these for when I'm doing welding and whatnot. Oh. So I'll get that side kind of work down on there and then get one basically 180 degrees out. I mean you guys can you do hobbies and stuff you know you need to kind of work it in little by little. So far we're off a little bit on the holes but I think I can manipulate it but once you get it to right there you just get your screw and get it started and i think i'm just a hair wait all right well, the trick is just getting a few started and then just kind of walking it in there yeah, that's going to work out well. That's the biggest trick is just kind of getting it compressed and then worked in there. And just get those started and worked in and then kind of spin it around and oh, of course, once you get it eased in, you don't want to just crank it, you'll strip it for sure. I mean, we're talking with aluminum and probably not the greatest quality in screws and aluminum. It's just, they're cheapos. I mean, I got them on eBay, but they look nice and I like, I like them over the plastic jobbers. So they are worth the, the small investment that they take, I think. Anyway, get these in here all right and now we'll just kind of walk that down I'm just gonna ease her down in there and you can hear it when it's got strain on it so there's no need to force it you just kind of walk it around nice and easy And then 
once I get it all the way down where it looks good. Now that I've pretty much got it where I want it, go ahead and remove these clamps. All right, and just make sure that we are snug. And that's pretty snug there. Nice, firm. Look at the difference, like same amount of effort. See the deformity? I mean, these just, you can just roll those over so your side hilling is not going to be as good whereas these they're firm I mean there's it's packed in there good and then you just slide one of these fancy little wheel weights I like the stainless steel rotors I said calipers the other day in my last video I don't know what I was thinking but rotors um, you can get them in brass I just I like the stainless steel because it looks like a real actual rotor nice weight to it Line that up, get your center hub, line that all up, and then once your holes are all lined up, you take the supplied longer screws, get them started. Once I get a couple of these started, Go through and zap them all in there. And once they're all zapped in there, I'll go back and hand tighten them because again, I don't want to strip the the screws, the head, the, the threads, or any of that. So just takes a little bit of patience, but I'm not gonna sit here and hand thread these all the way in. There's just no way. I'd be here all day. Alright, that looks pretty good. Okay, that's snug. Okay. complete wheel wheel donut installed nice firm a lot better than it was yeah I mean it's firm but it's still nice and malleable but I mean like I said for the money wheel weights in there decent looking gold pattern there I just like the contrast between two different colors that's why and then the KLR knockoffs Nice little wheel tire setup with the wheel weight. Anyway, hope you guys like that. I'm going to go ahead and put this one together, same way I just did this one. And uh, then I'll go out and do a test crawl. Um, like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if there's anything else you guys would like to see. Or um, Yeah, alright, thanks.